If you've also dreamed of having your very own DDR arcade at home, this video is for you. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to download and play all the classic DDR songs. So let's get ready to level up your at-home dance game. For the ultimate experience, I would recommend you order a mat from Eltec. I'm not sponsored by them in any way or form, but I've been using my mat for two months and it's honestly one of the best purchases I've ever made. It is a bit pricey, but if you plan on playing it consistently, it's 100% worth it. However, if you are on a tighter budget, you can always use a cheaper, soft mat alternative that you can buy from AliExpress, Amazon, eBay, etc. And I'll have all of the links in the description below. If you've decided to go ahead with the l -Tech mat, there are a few options you can choose from. They even have the diagonal pump arrow version, but I bought the x 2 model. You can go the extra mile to customize the arrow art, which will cost you an extra 10 to 72 bucks depending on how many panels you want to customize. To upload your own design, you'll need to have high quality JPEG or PNGs, either per panel or one large image that you can fit onto the entire board. There's some tools on the top right hand corner to help you snap into each panel. You can download my art for free, which I'll provide in the links as well. While you wait for your mat to arrive, you'll need to download Step Mania to play. You can play on Windows, Mac or Linux. You can download all the classic DDR songs from Xenius. My personal favorite is DDR Extreme. You can even search for specific songs or artists too. I love this website. They even have K-pop and EDM. You want to make sure that the songs you download go into the songs folder of the Step Mania programs file. Once you've plugged in your DDR mat to your computer, you need to configure the key so when you step on the left arrow on your mat, it registers as a left arrow press. Then you want to go ahead and do it for all the arrows and keys. This last step is only necessary if you feel like the arrows don't properly match the beat when you play. Go into input options, then calibrate audio sync. A mini syncing game will pop up and you'll need to dance your left and right foot onto the beat until it's finished. This should make your steps feel much cleaner when you play. And there you have it, your very own at home DDR setup. Personally, it's been a great form of exercise. I've committed myself to playing about an hour a day and it's the best cardio exercise I've ever done. I can already feel my stamina improve and maybe even look a little slimmer. I hope this video helped you reignite your love for DDR again. Let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any questions. See you in my next video.